Angel says, Dear child, I have come to share something important with you today. Have you noticed how a special someone in your life has been talking about you in public? This person isn't holding back. They say these things openly and firmly believe they are telling the truth. According to them, what they are saying about you is pure fact, no lies, no exaggerations. Your special person has been saying that you have a particular smell about you. Perhaps you have noticed it yourself. Or maybe this comes as a surprise. They haven't hesitated to speak about it openly and they stand by their statements, believing them to be absolutely truthful. They aren't trying to make things sound worse or better than they are. They are genuinely believe that what they are saying is the reality. Like this video and subscribe if you trust Divine Almighty. Dear child, in just a few moments, I am going to tell you what this person has been saying about you. After you hear it, you will be the one to decide if what they are saying is true or false. All I ask is for you to give your full attention to this for the next 7 minutes because these claims directly concern you. You shouldn't turn away without knowing what's being said. Now, I want you to listen closely. Reflect on yourself and the way you present yourself to the world. Think about how you might smell, whether it's something you can recognize or not. As I reveal what this person is claiming, keep an open mind and heart. Are you ready for this revelation? Let's dive in. Like this video and tap triple five if you are ready for this big revelation. Angel says, Dear child, I need to talk to you about something important today. Your special person has been saying things about you in public to their friends and colleagues. They claim they are speaking facts, but we need to consider whether that's true. Even if what they say is accurate, is it right for them to share it publicly? And if what they are saying isn't true, is it fair for them to make such claims at all? No matter what, these statements have been made and they can't be taken back. People have already heard them and they have formed opinions about you based on what was said. You are probably curious to know what these claims are, right? First, think about how important your public image is to you. Whether you care a lot or a little, how others see you can affect various parts of your life. Now, consider this. 
If the claims made about you are true, it's worth thinking about whether it's fair or right for your special person to share those truths openly. Should some things be kept private, or is openness always the best policy? Dear child, on the other hand, if the claims aren't true, it becomes even more serious. Spreading false information about someone can hurt their reputation and cause unnecessary issue. So, whatever the case may be, truth or falsehood, it's clear that these statements have been made and people have listened. They have formed opinions about you based on what they have heard from your special person. So, here is your chance to hear those claims and decide for yourself what you need to do. I ask for just two minutes of your time to reveal everything. If you stop this video now, it might seem like you don't care about the image that has been created around you because of these big claims. Are you ready? Let's get started. Like this video and type Amen if you are ready to face this. Angel says, Dear child, this is no joke. The person you love deeply has said something shocking and hurtful about you. They claim something that they should have kept private and worse, said it publicly without thinking about how it would affect your image. They made a statement that could stick around for years. Last night, they told their female friends that you are hot but that your intimate parts smell like spoiled milk. Can you believe it? Is this something anyone should discuss? Let anyone in public This is too much and they need to face the consequences for spreading such a damaging and false picture about you. Dear child, you can't just let them get away with making jokes or humiliating you in this way. This kind of behavior is unacceptable and shows a lack of respect for you. You deserve better than to be ridiculed or talked about in such a manner. To help you take action, I have an ancient prayer that is known to turn their laughter into cries. Trust me, this prayer works instantly from the moment you recite it. Join me now in this prayer and take control of the situation. Like this video and type yes if you are ready to join me in this prayer. Today's ancient prayer for strength against mockery and financial strife. Repeat after me. Lord, 
turn their laughs to silent sighs as they mock and criticize. Grant me strength to rise above, fill my heart with courage, love. For my finances, I seek your hand, bless my efforts across the land. Turn their words from hurt and scorn, let your peace and grace be born. Guide me through each trying day, seal me from what they might say. In your care, I place my trust, transform their mocking to dust. Let kindness reign where heads has grown. In your mercy, make it known. With you, Lord, I find my peace. May the laughter quickly cease. Like this video and tap triple nine to claim this prayer.